we're spinning into one explosive climax, and today we're getting a sneak preview of the season finale. Please welcome Marsha Cross. <laughs> Redhead comes on the stage. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so natural. I don't. I'm not there every three weeks. Just, just sitting, enjoying myself. Yeah. Those spoils are nothing. Me too. <laughs> I want to go back in time just a little bit because we were talking breastfeeding with the twins. Yes. What What was your experience like? Did you try it in public with? Two at once, did you oh, ever yeah, have to and so feel uncomfortable? I could barely, you know, it was enough. The fact that I was doing two was a big oh, job. Oh so, God. I mean, what were you bring them out and put them on the table? I mean, <laughs> I mean what did you do? <laughs> I had a wonderful nurse who really convinced me that I could do it. She kept going, Yes, you can, yes, you can. And then eventually I did. Yeah. But you know what I think happens when you start breastfeeding? I don't know about you, any, I didn't feel like sexual about my boobs no, at that no, point. No. No. You feel like so a I would, machine. Yeah. yeah, so I think there's, there's also that thing of like, maybe, you know, there's this allure that it's a sexual thing to other people, but I remember I'd be like walking through the house, you know, like yeah. with my milk jugs, not feeling, right. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's, yeah. a, there's a little discrepancy Especially about. when you do that breast pump, not yeah. sexual oh, at the, all. Yeah, you don't feel <clears throat> sexual at all. So. How do you hold the two of them up there, though? That's you had to prop them, like, on yeah. pillows oh, and oh, get yeah. them just right oh, and then switch I them. Standing and, yeah. You gave that a good oh. go there with the twins. <laughs> hey, so by the way, we have the cast of, some of the cast from One Life to Live um, later. They're new neighbors, and I know that in the 80s, <laughs> we have a little peek of you oh. there on One Life to Live. We have to John, burn. everything but the kitchen. It's your baby. It's your baby. <laughs> too long ago. Uh, I, I think at the time the man I was dating, he didn't want to see me in a wedding dress in case we got married. Thank God he didn't look, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I was, no, the, the, fast forward to Desperate Housewives. Yes, yes. And we have a clip from the finale. Now, your character, Bree, has been having problems with her dead husband's son, Sam, mm -hmm. uh, who she didn't even know about until recently. So, uh, th these problems just keep getting worse yeah, and yeah, worse. Otherwise, we'd be happy housewives and we'd be out of a job. Okay, so, so this one is a little creepy. <laughs> Take a look. What happened to Carlos's mother? Ten years ago, she died after being hit by a car that Andrew was driving. Oh, my God. How did he find out? Danielle told him. What? Why? I don't know. I think it was some idiotic attempt to bond with him. Wait a minute. You never told Carlos and Gabby? Of course not. It would have destroyed the friendship. Not to mention, Carlos would have sent Andrew to jail. So, what does Sam want? My company. And I'm going to give it to him. Okay, <laughs> woo! Now this... This is Sunday. This is Sunday's yeah. finale, right? Now, so, tell me the storyline between Bree and the creepy son. Is this gonna get resolved, or is this gonna... I think so. I mean, unless they, unless they bring him back next year. But, yeah, I think it is gonna be resolved. It's a shame. I really liked him. He was a good actor. Yeah. I so lose them all. I'm like the black widowed, you know, uh, yeah. housewife. You're very dangerous. Well, speaking, oh, of, no, <laughs> speaking of, I mean, we saw Nicolette Sheridan when she was killed off the show last season. I remember that scene. She's now suing Mark Cherry, mm -hmm. claiming that he was hostile to her regularly and that he even hit her. Were you surprised when you heard that claim? Oh, God, yeah, sure. And you're waiting for... I, I, you know, I really have no idea. I wasn't in the room. I happen to love both of them. Um, I had a have had nothing but a stellar experience with Mark Cherry. I mean, just beyond anything I could have imagined. But I always say this kind of a, my guess is that it's a deeper spiritual karmic thing and it will work itself out and hopefully everybody will grow and be better at the end. Good answer. So right. Good answer. Yeah, so right. I want to ask, because your true real husband, Tom, yes. was diagnosed with cancer mm. last year. Mm. How is Tom doing? What's he is phenomenal. He is so far 100%. All better. Yeah, it's like a bad dream. Yeah. Almost like it never happened, but it happened. Yeah. It happens, you know, it, it, 
I've never been one to take life for granted, and that just makes it even more poignant all so the time. So things are looking wow. up for you and yeah. your husband and yourself, yeah. because you were named in People magazine the most beautiful, yeah, I'm old uh, woman. I, I don't say your age unless you want well, me to. It's yeah. right there. Hello. Right there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> But she's Sorry. not going to say it. I won't say it. I can't she say, say it. I don't say it to her. The numbers, I, I can't. For but she no, won't say it. I'm not I'm numbers -phobic. It's like the why. number. Because it's like creeping towards the end. That's, That's right. why. It has you nothing got to that. do with, you know, I'm, I'm 48. I don't mind the number. What I do mind is the less years I have to That's live. That's right. That's yeah. exactly That's, the point. You know. But I mean, so you don't care if your age is out there? No. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Well, I, one thing I know you do care about is how healthy kids are right now, and I love that about you as a mom in person. And you're actually working with MOTS on a program to teach yes. kids how to be healthy and live a healthier lifestyles, well, is that right? Yes, um, this is my second year working with MOTS, mm -hmm. and um, they have produced something called MOTS Medleys, which you'll see in the commercials, yeah. healthy juices and whatnot. And they've partnered with an organization called Kaboom, which is... Mm -hmm they build playgrounds. So together they're building 10 like mega Fantastic. playgrounds across oh, the United sorry. States, which is, you know, we just have to get our kids out playing off the couch, eating healthy foods and start right. this next generation, well, you know, in a positive of, way. Yes. Well, speaking of kids playing in energy and health, yes. I, I read somewhere, it's gonna sound ridiculous, I read somewhere that when you wanna lose weight, Marsha, you eat baby food. Is that, is that okay, true? I have read that too, and it's like, where did that come I'm about from? To try it. I mean, baby food sounds crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. No, no. Little, okay, I do not good. eat baby food. <laughs> now, occasionally, maybe right baby dessert is okay, yeah, but there's mashed peas, cookies, uh, like a, like a, like a, like a vanilla really cookie or something. Mm -hmm. I can eat that. Thanks yeah. for coming by. Thank good luck you. with that project. Heck, I'll take up a hammer Thanks. and build a playground. Thanks to Marsha Cross, the season finale of Desperate Housewives.